Praise be to God with Hello, you this Friday. and welcome Amen. to the Gifted Amen. Church What's Up platform. Pastor Kwame has made his spiritual encouragement the his responsibility. That God has for you Enjoy is so today's real. word. Um, now, one of the things that is very deep is the fact that anybody that operates in the gift of intercession is the person that really has a daunting task of receiving exactly a piece of God's heart. And whenever an intercessor receives that kind of um, experience from God, God literally downloads exactly what is going on in the heart of him. And all intercessors understand that there's this deep love that God has for people. And so I want you to know that God will not even tell you how much he loves you. He will tell others how much he loves you by placing the same hunger of love. So I want you to know that uh, anytime I flip the microphone it is this morning, a strong sense of I love you come upon me. And that is not directly for me because some of you know me in real life that I don't even check up on you. So the love I feel for you as soon as I turn on the microphone is a love that is coming from God to you. And it's like God is just channeling to me for me to tell you how much he actually loves you. And so I want you to know that you will not feel the love of God, but I am here telling you that God has touched me with the love he has for you and it's deep and it is real and it is all that you need. So I want to echo that into your hearing today that God actually loves you very deeply. He loves you more than you think he loves you. And so I want you to be encouraged. Amen. And as always on Friday, I like to declare that may your weekend be blessed. May your weekend prosper. May God begin to refresh you so that when Monday comes, you'll be laughing. I speak that by the time Monday comes, you'll be laughing in Jesus' name. Let me run to my assignment on today because I have an interesting something to share with you. I'm running to the book of um, Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, the verse number 8. Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, the verse number 8. The Bible says, ah, I hear my lover coming. Amen. The ah is everything. He said, ah. I hear my lover coming. I came to speak to your life today that your lover is coming. Your lover is coming. Um, it is not a, this is not a message about um, relationship. This is a message about purpose. Um, I, 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 I want to make sure that I do justice to the, the, the line here. Uh, so let me begin by going to the the proper channel which is SG in the test so the the the, the, the songs of Solomon is a compilation of love songs for a husband and a wife and also for people in relationship but it has a prophetic and a deeper sense as well but it's literally a lyric so there's a part that the woman sings the part that the man sings I believe that I'm reading the part that the woman is singing and it says now now uh, my lover is coming now here here I will do some definitions the first definition is a lover who is a lover and before I do that let me now begin to paint the bigger picture here now Paul which is who is the greatest philosopher now says this now these three things abide faith hope and love and the greatest of all is love that is my first premise. Now, these three things are about faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of all is love. My second premise, therefore, is that love is the greatest thing on earth. Now, therefore, my final conclusion is that the amount of love that you have is the amount of strength that you have in life when i stop you right now and i look at your health i look out your strength i look out what is great about you it will be it will be because of the love that you have coming towards you and i want you to hear me loud and clear that the number of your days god has measured an amount of love that can sustain your days the greatest asset you have is your love is a love that is coming to you and therefore a lover is a person sent by god who is carrying your love a love your love is a, is not um a luxury your love is a necessity for purpose sustenance and for fulfilling your your, your the, the assignment of god you know so the amount of love that you must receive at every point in your life is designed by god for your sustenance because it without the amount of love that will come to you you cannot become what god has called you to be so i came to let you understand on today that god has uh, uh, has sent your lover 
with the quantity of your love that is coming your way. And at every point in time, the strength of your life is the love in your life. And so I came to declare that your lover is coming. And now it is critical that you understand this down. So so the, the amount of love that you have at every point that is is amount of strength that you have at every point the amount of love you have at every point is amount of power you love you have at every point the amount of love you have at every point is amount of um, hope you have at every point because what is great in life is love amen now here we are looking at um a sound of a prophetic um kind of rhythm the bible says i hear the sound of abundance of rain and here the the the, the, the lyrics also says ah i hear my lover coming i came to prophesy the same thing that your lover is coming and i want you to expect it and specifically i'm speaking to those who have so much pain Anytime the lies in your life is more than the love in your life, you'll be in pain. And that is why you cannot you cannot be in a relationship with a person who is lacking the amount of love they need. And today I want you to understand that God is going to restore the love between a mother and a father. God is going to restore the love between a sister and a brother. God is going to restore the love between uh, siblings because that is what I hear, that your lover is coming. Anybody who is deficient in love is incomplete in life. Anybody who is deficient in love is incomplete in life. In life, that is why I didn't come to talk about relationship. I came to talk about. I hear that your lover is coming. The person that God has given the quantity, the the, the person that God has given the, the love with your name on it is bringing it your way this season because you got to receive it. It's very, very, very important that you begin to embrace this message because without your lover. You can receive your love. And so I pray and I declare that your lover is coming. It is very, very important that you receive it. It is very, very important that you expect it. It is very, very important that you are ready for it. Because the strength of your life is the love in your life. Amen. Because that is the greatest. That is the greatest that will cause you to be able to fulfill your purpose. Amen. That will cause you to be able to do that which God has called you to receive. Amen. So I want you to hear me and hear me clearly that your lover is coming and your lover will find you. Now, the most important thing you understand is that love will find you. Love will find you. And let me begin to teach a little bit here. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he found us. Amen. And 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 when you read the lyrics that I have here, I didn't write all of them. The next line in the song says that, Ah, my lover is coming, climbing through mountains and hills. You understand that? Because love is the greatest, nothing can stop love. And that's why I want you to understand that if you only... You know, it is the work of the enemy to bring you fake love so that you reject the one bringing you your love. I pray and I know some of you have stopped believing that your lover is coming around 2007, 7 and 8. Because your liar came but not your lover. And, and so because of that, you have the enemy. Is, so it is the assignment of the enemy for you to starve in love so that you can fulfill your purpose. I said to myself that if I have somebody bringing me my money and somebody bringing me my love, I will give the bus ticket to the person bringing me my love because when I get my love, I can get money. But when I get the one with the money, I might not be able to buy love. It is important that you believe in love and you expect. He said, ah, the ah is that I am expecting my lover to deliver my love. It's not selfish. The thing is that whatever the person is bringing, it is is God who gave him. Notice this, that you are not here without love. Do you understand? It is God who created you and the purpose of creation was love. God will never starve you of love if he, if he creates you. There's so much going through my heart now. So understand that Jesus went through so much to bring you love and therefore love will find you. And it's important that you understand that it is the works of the enemy to block you from receiving your love. 
is to cause you to not believe in love. It's to cause you to turn away from love so that you will starve and not fulfill your purpose. And lastly, um, you cannot experience love from God alone. The Bible says that God said it's not enough for man to be alone because you cannot enjoy spiritual love in a physical body. He says, so I'll make him a lover. Amen. And so it is important that you understand these things. So it's not, this is not about you. It's about love. Amen. And so you have to play the game. You have to believe in love on every calendar day because interestingly, the way God did love is that the love that is in your heart is not for you. It's for somebody else. So as soon as you check out on love, you are starving somebody who needs your love. So at every point in time, you need to be in love. You need to be in the love game. Loving your sister, loving your brother. You cannot abandon the matrix of love. Are you hearing me, somebody? So God made man and said, I'm going to send a woman her way. I mean, his way. I'm going to send a man her way and, and so that they, they can receive it. So at every point in time, the strength of your life is not the food on your table, but the love on your table. The strength of your life is the love on your, in, that comes from your children. The strength of your life is the love that comes from your pastor. The strength, it is the love. It is the love. Anybody that wants to relate to, to you in any other way, don't accept it. A man said that even if you love your job, you wouldn't be sure whether it's a job or it's, your, it's, it's, a, it's a game. Always look for love. Always look for love. Because that is the purpose of everything. Love for your sister, love for your cousins, love for your brother. You got to understand this. Love is what is everything comes down to. So I came to speak into your life that I hear the sound of your lover coming. And he is carrying a love that is for your consumption. I declare that you will never starve when it comes to love. You will never starve when it comes to love. Let me tell you, like I said, the devil is not happy that you are married. The devil is not happy that you found somebody to relate with. The devil is not happy that your children are with you. It is a work of the devil that your son will leave you. It is a work of the devil that your, your brother will not talk to you. Anytime you come across this family dispute, I want you to know an enemy is in charge. Let me, that, that's why there is broken homes everywhere. It is the work of the enemy for the house. Because here's the thing. The devil wants to starve you of love so he can destroy you. You cannot destroy a person in love. The Bible says, for my lover is coming. He's coming through mountains and hills. I did a teaching on Jesus dying for us. And when you look at the level he used to die for us, love can do anything. If you get in, most women can do their doctorate when their children, single women, I know single women who can do five doctorates simply because their kids are feeding the woman with love. You can, you can, you can do everything if somebody loves you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you believe in love, you expect love, and you enjoy love. God bless you.